Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an EC2 instance using AWS Management Console. So I will walk you through all the steps involved in creating an EC2 instance using AWS Management Console. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm logged into the AWS Management Console here and let me go to the EC2 console. So once you are in the EC2 console, uh, this is how it looks like. So if you don't have any instances running, it shows zero here. So let's click on launch instance here. So when you click on launch instance here, it shows a lot of AMIs uh, here. So AMI basically stands for Amazon Machine Image. So AMI has an information about the software configurations like you know operating system and applications that come pre-installed uh, if you create that instance uh, using that AMI. You can also create your uh, own custom AMI and use that to launch your EC2 instances. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use this quick start and I'm going to check this free tire only to make sure that I uh, create only the instances which are eligible for free tire. So I'll select this Amazon Linux 2 AMI here, click on select and once you click on select, it will ask you to select the type of instance, basically instance type. So instance type, uh, there are a lot of instance types in AWS depending on the number of, you know, vCPUs and the memory. So I'm uh, going to select this t2.micro, which is eligible for free tire. Click on uh, configure. So I'm going to create only one uh, instance. And this is all the networking configurations. We'll leave all this uh, to the default itself. And I'll, in the later tutorial, I'll explain you what each of these mean and how to configure uh, these network settings de depending on your requirement. But for this tutorial, we will leave it as default and click on next add storage. So here in this section, you can add any storage uh, if you want additional storage, like you can add EBS volumes to your EC2 instance if you need, but I'm not going to do that. And here I make sure that you, um, I mean, I have made sure that I have checked this delete on termination. So if once I terminate this EC2 instance, all this uh, you know, storage associated with this will be deleted. And uh, next, click on add tags. So basically, this uh, this section is to add the tags. Um, these are purely optional. Like I mean, you can add <clears throat> anything. I mean, any tags just to identify uh, this instance. So if this instance belongs to any team, so we can add a tag called team and dev. So this is purely optional. And let's click on configure security group. So the security group is where you configure the inbound and outbound traffic to your EC2 instance. So basically, what do you want to like? I mean, whom do you want to allow to connect to your EC2 instance and uh, stuff like that? So if you see, uh, we are creating a new security group. Uh, let's call it uh, my EC2 security group. And uh, these are the rules that are. So if you want, you can remove the rules or add any rules, new rules that you want. So if you want to allow uh, and uh, HTTPS traffic or HTTPS traffic into your instance, you can you know select this and you can allow on port and from where do you want to allow and stuff like that. So I'm not going to do it here. So I'm going to add only one role, which is I'm going to allow SSH connection into my EC2 instance. And this is the source from where do you want to allow. So you can select any custom IPs here or you can select anywhere. So when you select anywhere, anyone from the internet, like come I and mean, connect to your EC2 instance, if they have the PPK file, so um, this is not a recommended setting because it exposes your instance to your um, internet. So, but I'm going to select this for now and click on review and launch and click on launch. So this uh, takes to this key pair. So key pair is basically uh, useful when you want to connect to your EC2 instance using SSH clients. So I'm going to create a new key pair and I'm going to call it my EC2 key and make sure that you download this key pair now itself because you will not be able to download it at a later point of time. So when you click on download key pair, it downloads this uh, PEM file. And once that is done, click on launch instance here. So it takes some time to launch instance. So it says your instances are now launching. So if you go to the CC2 console now, it says that EC2, I mean, the instance is still in pending state. So let's give it some time. So now if you see that my instance is in a uh, running state, so if I click on this instance, so these are the instance details, like, I mean, this is the uh, public IPv4 address of this instance. And, um, you know, these are the, all the other information. Set. So I think I gave you a you know, brief overview on how to create an EC2 instance using uh, AWS Management Console. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you. And please subscribe to my channel.